We are headed to the new barn. The uh, guys started yesterday kind of getting started on some of the grading for the new barn and Maddie and I were busy yesterday so we weren't, uh, weren't able to see it and that's what we're gonna do today. I am mixing up kind of my favorite uh, midday hydration drink which this is not sponsored in any way but I wanted to let you guys know. Um, this is the creatine from the BPN team as well as the liquid IV. I put it in this shaker and it is like my perfect midday hydration going into a training session tonight um, after we go to the barn. So I'm just kind of getting this thing ready so that we can head to the barn. Uh, Matt and I are super excited. The guys, like I said, are already working. And so we wanted to go check it out and go see the progress and, and what they're doing. So that's where we're headed right now. Stay tuned. contractor that is doing the arena and the barn um, leveling and, and grading and all that he's done quite a bit around this area and so I'm really interested to see how he has tackled the little bit of unevenness and unfortunately the spots that we are putting the barn and the arena are fairly flat but I'm interested to see how he's grading it backfilling it kind of doing all that stuff um, yesterday I think they had just scrape some of it and we had some just random dirt piles that they took care of but I'm interested to see kind of exactly how he's going about it and then how much they've done just in the last two days or actually day and a half at this point so um, yeah we're super excited about it and uh, it's not gonna be too much longer until we have a full barn and full arena ready to roll well they have these guys have absolutely been on a mission. It looks nothing like it did the other day. So if you remember, this is originally where we were gonna put the barn and then decided to put it over here because the ground was a little bit more level and it wasn't as uh, heavily infested with rocks uh, as it is up here. This part's a little bit more rocky, but they, uh, this is the pad. Let me see if I can get to it. This is the pad for the barn. This will be our barn and then starting about here is going to be the arena and then the arena will go all the way down where uh where he's pushing dirt right now wow it's crazy to see it actually uh in motion huh so crazy so cool Do it. Was this level? No. The berm, the berm that we're standing on uh, was already here and then it just kind of gradually went down towards the towards the pond and towards the river but they came in and really cut this section. Well you can see right there babe look where that stake is. That, that's where it was and so they probably cut probably two two and a half feet off this side run it down and then he's over here doing the pad for the barn and then this gentleman over here is working on the arena section. are going to get out of here for today. One of the site crew members was having a bit of a bad day and was not too thrilled with us taking videos. So we're gonna give them a few days. We'll check back in in a few days and kind of see how far they've come. Until then, stay tuned. 
as much as I want to go over to the property and see how much the crew has done with uh, leveling and grading everything, I know that they need to continue working and we don't want to stop them. Um, next step for that is after they get all that done, we'll get the concrete poured and the barn master crew will get over there and start erecting the steel. Yes, I said erecting. Today, it's an absolutely beautiful day. So while they're doing that, we're gonna go over and get a little bit of sled training in, um, get a little bit of exercise on the horses, and that way we can be ready for ropings coming up. I think I should probably stick to heading. What do you think? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Day number four of the new barn and arena build. The site crew has been absolutely fantastic and they've been running probably nonstop for the last few days, getting this all prepared for us. And uh, it looks way different tonight, doesn't it? We haven't been here in a day or so and uh, we wanted to kind of come check out what all they've done and they, <laughs> they've done a lot, that is for sure. The last time that we left off, they were just cutting what you know the arena portion is and then they were getting the you know barn pad site all ready to go it looks like i can't tell that much of a difference from when we left as far as the barn pad site other than they brought a little bit more base material in and and uh, maybe cleaned up some of the edges but the arena portion is where they have done an extensive amount of work essentially what they're doing is they're cutting out this side and then they're building that side up so they have just kind of went from the far side and come this way just gradually cutting this side and moving it out this way to make it all flat they built up this area with a bunch of base to get ready for concrete pouring and the barn to go here and one thing we did um, that we actually just found out about is that we're going to lengthen the arena area a little bit so originally between the barn and the arena, there's gonna be about 30 feet or so, and there's probably only about 20 now or so. So that'll be pretty interesting, but you can tell how much they have built up. So where all this equipment is, this is about, this is about the level that everything was on. Now, if you look back up here, I don't know if you can see, it's getting pretty dark, but it's probably, there's probably, They've probably built it up five feet just in the last few days. So where I'm standing right here on this level, this is the normal level. But this is all what they've cut and built up to make the arena. The barn area hasn't changed very much since we originally uh, broke the news here on YouTube about us having a barn. It's still going to be a four stall barn, um, two tack, well, a tack room and a feed room in the front. And kind of where I'm standing is the barn aisle. So there'll be a feed room, tack room, or tack room, feed room, I'm not sure which, and then four stalls. We did leave a little bit of space 
um, on the back end in case we wanted to, you know, make a few more stalls uh, at some point. But for now, it's going to end about here, and our barn way, aisle way, will be going out this direction. So it is, man, it's coming along. These guys, apparently, from what I've been told by a few people around town, is that this is the best site crew in the area and so we're very very fortunate that they are doing our barn and arena the arena is like super close yeah it's much closer than we originally thought huh yeah, it's like three steps five steps and we're gonna be in the arena yeah so that blue marker is where the barn will stop and then it'll come out here we'll have some sort of path to the arena here yeah that's the next step. So next they will pour the footer for the barn. And then I think we're doing a footer for the arena, if I'm not mistaken. I want to do a little like crash granite walkway to the yeah, arena. Yeah, that's fine. Do some plants on the other side and whatnot. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite parts about this whole project is the backstop that we have. We have this beautiful bluff side um, over by the river that uh, is a it's a big ranch kind of out that way but it's nice to have just this beautiful scenery to look at while we're riding so maddie and i are we're pretty stoked aren't we we were just talking about that the arena looks substantially bigger now than it did the other day when you just have stakes on it when you when you kind of start to see it take shape it looks a lot bigger than it did the other day which is which is great because I think at this point, I think now it's a full dressage length Almost. and width, like pretty close. pretty close. Not enough to have steers though. It's not a roping arena, it's just a riding arena, just a training arena. We'll still have to go out for, for roping, so it's all right, That's, we'll take it. Landscaping, plant, shrubbery situation, we can plant all the How's our sport horse team? We're never not vlogging. Maddie and I are going to be out of town. Uh, we're going to go to California for a few days. So the cool thing about this is that when we get back, it'll look substantially different and we'll be just this much closer to having our barn and arena all ready to go for future roping horses and future dressage horses. If you want to see that, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video. And you know, if you want to share it with friends, we're not opposed to that either. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.